What's going on guys? Welcome back to another, uh, it's gonna be a modern deck critique here. We are playing Blue Green, Blue Green Emerge, courtesy of uh, Access Denied, otherwise known as Steve. <clears throat> or Steve, otherwise known as Access Denied, I guess you'd say. And uh, basically our goal is to go one drops into three drops into Emergy Boys. So... There is a part of me that just wants to uh, add black, not because it's Sultai, but kind of because there are good black ones in uh, Distended Mindbender. Wasn't there another one? I think it's just Distended Mindbender. If it's just Distended Mindbender, then we are right. Um, I do like Lashweed Lurker. Lashweed Lurker is a good one. Putting a non-land permanent on top of its owner's library. And I guess that's it, huh? All right. So anyway, <clears throat> our big threats here are four Frost Titans, which is surprising, three Thrag Tusk, four Wretched Griff, and four Elder Deep Fiend, which was a, a standard staple. One thing Steve mentions is it was a, bu a budget version. version. So we're going to actually take out three forests and add f three more breeding pools because these can be searched out uh, with Wood Elves. You can get forests in general, not just basic forests. So... I chose this super fast because I needed to find something to play to avoid playing witches. All right. All right. That witch deck did not look like it was going to win any games. I understand. I totally get the fun of it, though. But I was I did not expect us to win any games. I don't get the Frost Titan. Have you ever, have you ever cast a Frost Titan before? It's very hard to deal with. And if you can ramp into it on, like, turn three, then we got a good game. I don't know. Again, this is a deck where, like, I feel like Steve, you're putting Romans in all your decks. But all your decks are tapping out every single turn. Like, this deck, you want to go turn one, turn two, and then something like this on turn three. So I don't actually know when you'd remand. <clears throat> and I feel like remand might just be better suited to like uh, advance the game the game plan a little bit. So I'm actually going to... We're just going to try this out like this after the after the breeding pools. Are there any like... I like having a maximum number of forests because you do have a Yudhubi Sprawls. Actually, let me put the good blends in here. MTG Arena invitation, invitation you weren't invited to? No, sir, I don't like it. Me neither. Me neither. Do you have any rubber walrus protectors? I'm going to put two two of these bad boys. And how many how many forests are we looking at here? Eight? Sure. Add four. Add four. Okay. Oh, I like... Oh... I like Jace the Mind Sculptor just in general as a better remand. That's nice. Let's see, let's see how this works, and then we'll uh, we'll see what we want to want to add. I wasn't invited either. Yeah, well, yeah, that's how you do it. <coughs> let's play first. Chugrin, thank you so much for the 36 months, three years. My God. My God. See, this is actually pretty ideal. You go turn one this guy, turn two either one of these guys, and then we could be able to play a Griff on... Yeah, we can play Griff on turn three. Oh, this is not a forest. That's awkward. I guess if we draw a forest. We have a lot of forests in the deck. We have eight, nine, ten, we have 12 forests in the deck. So we have 12 out of 53, which is a little less than 25%, I would say. Yeah, we didn't do it. Okay, well, we get to keep... <clears throat> we get to keep up remand here. Are you and Mike going to be playing Resident Evil 2? Maybe. I haven't I haven't picked it up yet. But it seems like it's pretty good. And also, I read that it was twice as long as the original, which is interesting. Yeah, let's do one of these jobbies. Look, I'm gonna, I curse the remand, and then it's like, oh, well, remand. It still didn't get me a thing. If they play... Wait, what happened? Oh, they! Oh, it's Cavern of Souls. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh God, awkward Emma Watson gif. <clears throat> hey, we got a forest. Look at that. So we can go one, two, three, and then we'd have one, two, right? Not there yet. I mean, I would have done it anyway. It's not really a shame scoop. We have no real act. Like we needed to cycle to hit land, and also, um. There's, we're not going to be able to remand anything versus this deck, so it's not really, like... It's not actually that surprising. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go with the OG, which search for any forest. Get 
get a breeding pool. I don't think we're gonna, like, we have two mana, right? And this guy is gonna cost three, so yeah, we're gonna know, we're gonna know that one. We can play a Frost Titan next turn, which is actually pretty sweet. Tajik, huh? Okay. Well, <clears throat> mentor is a thing. This is a lot of dudes, and I'm not sure how we actually stop this. What is this? Four, three, two. We're actually going to block here and then play Frost Titan, I guess. Second, I got a minute. What's even happening right now? This, this refresh. All right, <clears throat> we're at nine. It's not ideal. It doesn't say Rogue Tribal still, does it? Oh, it does. Dang it. Modern, blue, green, E M E R G. Oh, I'm, I lied to everybody. I lied to everyone. I feel so bad. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to go untap you. Fortunately, like, they got six here. So if they play, like, another Tajik, we're actually, we can tap down this guy. <clears throat> Come on, let this resolve. Untap it. Wow, Frost Titan and Modern against humans. This is something right here. If they have, like, Path and they go Path our guy, uh, it's pretty rough. <coughs> Could have also tapped a land, but then it, like, eh, tapping a land might have been good. Because then they have to hit a land and a Path. I think this guy's probably gone. But we get another land out of it, so that's kind of cool, right? Oh, a Hydroid Crassus is an interesting addition. I don't know how much mana we're going to be able to make, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, like seven. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. It's obnoxious, but it's fine. Oh, please path my... Yes! Oh, my God! The best day ever! This is the best day ever! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That, sir, is not how Primeval Titan works. Shame, Scoop. Validated. So we can go one, two, three. This gets us a land. And then we can actually sack the 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 elf for the for the Griffy boy. Oh Griffy boy. We can also sack our frost titan and pay one. I don't think it does anything. I think we're still pretty far behind here. Big Frank in the trading card game is the name of my band. It's a Yugi Lewis in the News cover cover band.
If this came into play untapped, it'd be great, but unfortunately Farhaven Elf does not put the land untapped. If it came into play untapped, we would have one, two, the, the third land it plays, and then we'd still have Arbor Elf untapped. Did you seriously install bidets in both your bathrooms? Because that's hilarious. That's also really coincidental. Yeah, of course I'll use the ability. What are you, crazy? What are you, a maniac? <clears throat> so now we get to go... We play a land this turn. We did not play a land this turn. Oh! We do get to keep a Farhaven up elf. Farhaven elf up. Hmm. Let's cast you with a merge... And we can get something. That's pretty good. Let's get let's get the Eldrazi Deep Fiend. DP McFiendy. Deeples McFienderton. These are all the names that I have given him. Deeples McFeeples. These are just words. These are not uh it's not we're done. I don't want that. Maybe I do. I don't think I do. Let's get a thing. I think the only thing we can... Oh, I guess we can get another Wretched Griff if we really wanted to. But I don't think that's what we're in the business for here, my dudes. They said dang. I mean, you're doing fine. You're, we're probably dead. Oh, I think they said dang like three minutes ago when they tried to path to exile. Yeah. Yeah. Dang almost makes me feel like they were like, dang, it didn't work. Blast. I will sacrifice this. If we attack, tap this guy down, we have double blockers. Frontal combat damage is another against first strike. It's only a turn, so I can just go first strike this guy down. I guess we could double block here, but any like Is it more important to keep this guy tapped down and just get in there? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, alright, sure. <clears throat> So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I don't know who we have to sacrifice to get this guy out is the problem. What is this? That's actually fine. That <clears throat> is surprisingly fine. So how do we win here? Like we just block one of these guys in six, seven, eight, nine, and then we can can we kill them next turn? I think we should have actually played the elf. We should have untapped the land, played the second elf. Uh, you says before you say donation on here, not best for... Uh, I prefer if it's donated uh, directly through PayPal. If you want to email me, it's easier because then I don't have to I don't have to pay fees. Which, I mean, obviously, if that's an option, I prefer it. Um, five, five, so three, four. So we can actually block this guy. We would trade with both. Three, four, five, six. We wouldn't have enough mana to actually play Deep Fiend either. But we would get rid of this guy and they would have one dude on board. That's interesting. Huh. Seems like a poo man. <laughs> a poo man. Well, there you go. There you go. All right, we're going to go to blocks. The problem is we have to block one of these guys, right? If we block here... We don't have enough mana without sacrificing something Elder Deep Fiend. We can play this guy for one, and then it's five, six, seven. It costs six. Six. So we'd only have six mana. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We need one more land in order to... We'd have seven mana total to play this guy and, and Elder Deep Fiend off of this guy. 
which taps their board down, but still only deals nine. So I kind of just want to get this guy off the board. And then we can kill a Johnny, keep one of these tapped down. <clears throat> or we can actually just attack their face. But then, like, we have to survive another combat because you want to play this guy end of turn so that they can't play blockers, I think. And we have to block something, so we might as well just kill Tajik, I guess. I don't think we care about the Tajik. Yeah, we're just going to do this. I don't know if this is correct, but here we are. I think Hero Priest and 1 has a place in Modern, perhaps in a Jeskai Shell Helix. Oh, uh, it's very possible. Card is very good. So we definitely tap down the Tajik. We attack into the Thalia's Lieutenant. Just want to hop on here and say I'm really bummed you didn't get the invite. We only chilled for a bit when you... Oh, hey, what? We only chilled a bit for you in Seattle, but it was always a blast. Hey, to see. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate it. Who, who are you, though? I don't know who you are. I actually kind of wanted to land here. That's actually pretty good. Now we can play Arbor Elf and El Elder Deep Fiend. <clears throat> um, let's kill. We're going to go at your face. Flan Jenkins. I knew it. God. Always with the Flan Jenkins. I hope this email finds you well. I just typed I hope and it got the rest. <laughs> Alright, so we're going at your face. And we're also going at your face. Let's tap. I want to tap this guy because I want you to block with the Thalys Lieutenant. Because if you have another Tajik in hand, I don't want you to be able to play it and have both out. Alright, so now we just get to play one drop and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is fine. So you go to seven, and then we get to tap down your board, and if you play. So one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Are we just gonna win this game? Is that also another red this looks like red white humans again with always watching? Didn't we just see this deck? Like we played this deck twice this week, I think. Neither you nor Caleb got an invite, and both of you both failing. I don't really want to do the paper tournament thing anymore. I wonder if that has anything. That's weird because they're moving away from paper, so I don't know why that would affect things. But I mean, also Jeff Hoagland didn't get an invite, Ollie didn't get an invite, and Jim Davis didn't get an invite. So like, a lot of well-known uh, streamers that are also professional players did not get invites. It's kind of weird, but. I always feel like somebody's watching me, <clears throat> and I got no privacy. Oh. During their upkeep, we can actually go tap two guys and tap two lands. I feel like they would not have an answer for that. Why is this taking so long? I'm just trying to play this Arbor Elf. Actually, Lucky Pirate. We might have actually played Lucky Pirate again. Didn't we actually play Lucky Pirate previously, and he was playing the red-white list? Haji Gulashi, I did not get an email yet. I don't know what's going on here. <clears throat> uh, 
I'm t oh you're oh okay you're still you're still doing it gotcha gotcha am I still connected to the internet am I still alive I'm just curious Is this Arbor Elf really the... Is this the card that you're like, I can't deal with an Arbor Elf. This is unbelievable. So if we tap two lands and they're, and they're two creatures, they could play. They could probably play one creature, I would imagine. Oh, they could get back the Thalia's Lieutenant with a Johnny, I guess, which is actually two bodies. But then, like, the thing is, this guy's lethal in the air, so they're, they're technically at four. And then they would have to block each of these. Each one of these is lethal, and we're going to tap down one of them. So they'd have to get three dudes onto the board. They'd have to have, like, land, two drop, one drop, or two one drops, and, and, and the Ajani. Hmm. So it's not impossible, but... Is this? I don't. Hey guys, uh, what's uh, what's going on with this Arbor Elf? Just kind of hanging out. You know, like you do, like you do. It always feels like. Mike B is watching me. I've put up with it for long <laughs> enough. Badger, 3831. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the nice round 500. Also, it's worth noting that once we clear out this donation goal, we are going to go forward and uh, start an Elk Tears flight fund so Elk Tears can get to Florida. Ideally, at the end of at, at the end of February. And then we're going to have some sweet... Uh, some sweet content from Elk Tears and Lafoof, two of the draft boys, if they come and visit at that time. So. Oh, we didn't do it. I guess it doesn't matter. What are they going to do? If they play like an angel here, they're going to play an angel, right? Yeah, this is... This is actually better. Actually, it kind of worked out better this way. Yuppers. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to cast this with a merge. Sacrifice my dude. I'm going to actually kill them with an Elder Deep Fiend, and this is un unbelievable, huh? I'm going to tap your Johnny down, too. Suck on them eggs. Is this where they bolt my face? Oh, God, the green lightning bolver. So, wow, if we took one more damage off of Yavimaya Coast, we'd be dead. But instead, we are not dead. God, look at that. That looks gorgeous. That is amazing. Do we all get to come visit you at some point? I'm really not opposed to it. I'm not opposed to, like, meeting with the peoples. Dear Frank, I hope this email finds you well. <laughs> Oh, Hajigalasha, you are the you are the best, buddy. All right, all these guys are tapped down. Is this cube? You'd think so. You'd think it was. It always feels like I'm just gonna win with both of these guys, and I'm gonna kill the Ajani. This is what we're doing here. Let's tap down. You're always watching. I want to win with all of your permanents tapped. Nice. I want to see the Ajani go to the graveyard before victory. Nice. We did it. No intervention pack. Come on. No intervention pack. I don't know what this Quicksilver Fountain is. Let's read this together because realistically, no one knows what it does. It's a three mana artifact from Mirrodin. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player puts a flood counter on target non island land they control of their choice. So at the beginning of my upkeep, I got a forest, I'll put an island counter on, a flood counter on it. It becomes an island. 
that land is an island for as long as it has a flood counter on it. At the beginning of each end step, so it checks on both turns, if all lands on the battlefield are islands, remove all flood counters from them. So I guess you're just trying to, like, every turn you're giving them one island. That's fascinating to me. I kind of like Cyclonic Rift here. Let's get that in here. Romanda's pretty poop. Beast Within seems pretty good. Just being able to kill one of their their relevant creatures and turn it into a beast. You can also make one of our lands a beast. An artifact or an enchantment. This is not terrible. It's a 6-5. It's, it's absolutely humongous. I also feel like we want four Thrag Tests. Being able to sacrifice a Thrag Test for one of these guys is pretty good. <clears throat> Alright, I'm already, I'm already figuring out what we want instead of adding this guy for a, for a remand. That's a pretty easy sol sol solution. Solution? Solution. S-L-E-W-T-I-O-N. Solution. It always feels like Michael B's watching me. Michael B, stop watching me. Ooh. Wow. Jason Alt on the on the post is like you should stream Hearthstone if you want to get paid to stream magic. <laughs> Holy shoots. Jesus. The hottest of takes. Also not entirely incorrect, which is extremely awkward. Can we play New Zagana in modern? Yes. Yes we can. Sarov, what um, Sarov, <laughs> Sarov, sorry, what uh, what kind of shell are you thinking? Tell me about your shells. Hearthstone is Z's right now, but it also it uh, it helps you get it helps you get sponsored by Magic, so that's the important part. This into this, these two are these two are these two are shit bags. These guys are jerks. I am not going to block that, much to my sadness, much to my chagrin. God, see, again, if this came into play, if this is a Wood Elf, we could actually also play the Arbor Elf this turn, which is, it's a real conundrum, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three. This is going to put us to four. So we're actually ramping to five here, not six, which is unfortunate. I guess we're just going to pass here. <clears throat> yeah, not being able to play Frost Titan next turn is pretty rough. I wish we... If we draw a Thrag Tusk, it'd be just phenomenal. I can't even imagine. You know how good Thrag Tusk is in this matchup? Five life is basically like a million life. Your opponent should probably just concede on the spot if you ever gain five life against them. The efficiency and convenience can't be beat. I could beat it. Whatever that means. Uh, this guy's... N we can actually just wait. I'm always reluctant, because if we, if we block now, we prevent 4 damage. If they play another creature, we're preventing 5 damage. So it's like... Experiment 1 and Pelt Collector Simic Zoo. Yeah, I could see that. I can beat it. Wow. That wasn't even very good. That's not even a good quote. Is it? I 
don't understand the new best of three, best of one. Sounds like the worst of both worlds. What is best of three, best of one? That's like that's like that's like two and one. I don't understand. I should have put my hoodie on. I'm actually a little chilly. Guys, it's a little chilly in here. You hear these birds? God, I love it. It's so nice. Oh, there's only 2-2? Two, two? Shoot. Alright, what are we missing here? We want some 5 drops, right? Like, we want to be able to go three into 1 into 3 into 5 is really our goal here. It's those number letters. He wrote Bowboy. <laughs> oh, the old Bowboy. Yeah, you want to play Sultai Bowboy. That's my favorite archetype. Wood Elves, you piece of garbage. Phil Rickner, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Four months in a row. Four happy months in a row. All right, well, we're going to get a bunch of dudes out here now. And you're going to be afraid. What happens with this? Whenever it attacks, uh, there's some here. if you control both... Yeah, you're not going to have the mana for that one. Read the announcement, it makes no sense. I agree with you. I agree with you. I actually don't know a lot of these people on here. Want to qualify? Read on. Uh, no. Tap you. Play you. I think we're too far behind here. I just noticed you got breeding pool on your tap to save two life, and then use our on tap. Is that it? Just it just did. It just did. Actually, we untapped this, so. <laughs> we actually untapped the forest because it saves clicks. Because I don't want to have to click this and then click green or blue. You can just click this and it saves us a click. So it's maximizing your efficiency by tiny, tiny increments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana next turn, but we have nothing to do with it. I will pass here. It always feels like... Oh, boy. Ooh-wee. This is a yikes for me, dog. Wow. This deck is actually fairly aggressive. Are we dead? What is this? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, yeah. This is a nice one. This into this into this into this. Oh, God. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. We'll block like this, I guess. Thanks for not having trample. Can we draw? What's a green? Oh, God. Can we draw uh, Cyclonic Rift? No. <laughs> Oh, uh, we cannot. Yeah, we're just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to scoop it up here. Indominus, thank you so much for the five months in a row. Murka is right. Murka. Wow, is it January thirty first already? Holy crap, we're already done with one month out of this year. That's unbelievable to me. I also like another Cyclonic Rift. I think Cyclonic Rift can just be in the main deck here. This this deck tends to make a lot of mana, as you may have noticed. Um, one, two. We'll put two in the main deck. Um. Is there another Wood Elves type card that's a three mana guy that puts a thing into play? What about Rejuvenation Elf? No, I guess that's just worse than... It's not really worse, I guess, because you can hit Breeding Pools or Sanctums off of it, but I don't want to, like, not hit a land, I guess. So. Oops. Okay. Soup Meat. Do you think we could play Nissa of Aswoods here? Uh, the problem with Nissa is that, A, you never want to... You never want to emerge it because it's just a, it's just really good when you flip it. B, you're never going to get to seven lands, and C, uh, the forest doesn't come into play; it goes into your hand. So, like that's actually a lot of marks against Nissa. This is this is rough because we don't have a we don't have a play until turn three. <sighs> well, 
Oh, they went to five. All right. Well, we're not we're not dead. I'm gonna bottom you in hopes that we hit something good on the second turn. Yeah, I feel like Rejuvenation Elf is the, probably the only other remaining one. All right, no one drop is good for us. If we can hit a land, one more land, we can go Farhaven into Thrag Tusk, and then if we hit another land, we can go into this, and then like it's, we could snowball out of control if they don't. Have, wow, they don't have a play. This is great. Let's get another island, just because we don't need that many forests, and I'd rather have two two blue sources that uh, that don't deal us damage. A Farhaven Elf. This is the first. That was the in the first. Oh, that was in the first deck you ever made. I thought you said that was the first deck I ever made, and I was like, I don't think Farhaven Elf is his own deck. You know what? I'll take it. This guy's too valuable for the wretched Griff value. All right, let's do this. Yeah, this is actually pretty decent. Again, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna block here because they just give it first strike. So, if they want to path this guy and give us a three three and give us an extra land, I'll take it. What spiciness conglomerates here before us today? Yeah, that's fine. But they still have the first strike mana. Probably just going to take it here. I don't think taking four is... <sighs> Go biscuits. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we just win Muscle Lamb Frost Titan here and tap down Tajik, it's actually probably busted. Why don't you play that? Oh, because you don't want to block, sure. Tap down this guy. I mean, I guess I hope you don't have a path to exile, but I think we're fine even if you do. What's the Avamai's Riot? Oh, yeah, my Dryad is in the field. You should for Forest, put on the battlefield, tapped under target player's control. Um, Yeah, Dryad's probably... Actually, Dryad might be better than Farhaven Elf. I don't actually know. All right, this is fine because you're not actually doing anything. This is all very fascinating. Oh, wow, a Vencer. Wowie. One, two, three, and then we still get to keep a Venser mana? Wow. One, two, three. Cast with Emerge. Sack ya boy. Go get Elder Deep Fiend. We can also keep a Elder Deep Fiend mana. Yeah, this is pretty nutso. Attack your face and attack your face. Uh, we don't want you to block this guy, so we're actually just going to tap this guy down. It's a 4-4 four, four versus a 5-4. It's whatever. Yeah, you have my Dryad is literally just... Far well, it doesn't get an island is the problem. Wait, does Dryad search for a basic forest or any forest? Wow, that could be a big difference. Because you can get a breeding pool. That's pretty sweet, actually. And it also has Forest Walk, which is not nothing. Particle Man, Particle Man. Doing the things that a particle can. Yeah, I actually think Yavimaya. Yavimaya Elder is... Yavimaya Dryad, rather, from Time Spiral is just better. They have five minutes, we have 12 minutes. That's a yikes for me, dog. What is this here? This is fine. We're just going to Elder Deep Fiend. Yep. Mm 
I would want that sweet forest walk value. It's actually pretty versatile. I mean, the only downfall is if like they mind slaver you and then you have to, then they play it and they give themselves a forest. Wow, this deck is amazing. I don't know how we, how, how do we ever lose in this deck? I almost want like one mockery of nature in the main deck or like beast within instead of remand. Yeah, let's go dryad. I guess we'll go, yeah, the Maya dry. Yeah, for my DR. Forest walk for a 2 1. So it's the same cost, and I'm not too concerned with double green in this deck. When it enters the battlefield, you may search the library for forest and put it onto the battlefield tapped under target player's control. When it enters the battlefield, you may search the library for basic land. So this has to be a forest, but it does let you get a breeding pool. This has to be, yeah, I think just this is just better, right? And it's also a 2 1 versus a 1 1, so you get better defense, you get the incremental. Can you explain this the necessity? There's not, it's not necessary, but we're playing an emerge deck, and you you it's it's nice to be able to cast these guys. This is when you have a Yavimaya Dryad or a Wood Elves in play. This is basically a three three four flyer that draws you a card for three mana, which is like just better than a Mall Drifter at that point. A sweet singleton frilled mystic for the juicy gotchas? I don't... Actually, hmm, I, yeah, I kind of like that a lot, actually. Huh. Wait, why wouldn't we just play Mystic Snake, though? <laughs> I feel like Mystic Snake is just better, right? Also, Mystic Snake is great to sacrifice to... Um, I mean, Mystic Snake's just easier on the, on the mana cost. Solemn Simulacrum is great, too. Oh, I like all of these things. I'm going to take out the one Dismember. I'll take out the one Remand. The problem is Solemn's 4 and our 4-drop slot is pretty tight. Do I have OG Mystic Snakes? Nice. Well, they're Time Spiral, but that's close enough. How about Mystic Confluence? <laughs> ah, just kidding. That's not legal. Mystic Snake and Solemn are probably pretty similar. Similar? Similar here? I mean, to be honest with you, I, I doubt there's going to be a time where we have blue, blue, green, and not blue, blue, green, green. But it is possible if we have, like, Sanctum of Ugin, or, like, we take one less point with, like, if our lands are, like, island. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Alright, so I think one Cyclonic Rift can go. Maybe we do play like. Actually, hmm, we get one more slot, actually. We don't even need to cut anything right now. I don't know. Frost Titan's pretty OP. Like, Frost Titan did, did some hard work there. Don't you dare join me. Got him. I will play first. Michael Gimp. I'm gonna... I feel like we want to mulligan anything without a one drop. Well, I don't want to mulligan this. Is this the same guy? Yes, this is McGimp. No, it's not the same guy we played last. It's McGimp who is in the chat right now. Who is otherwise known as Mike. Mike. 
Michael, keeping that on the top, top, the tippity McTopperson. No, not the Mike that occasionally joins my stream, no. Mike does not have an account, nor does he have a, a collection of magic cards. Nor does he have the desire to have any of those things. Wow, look at this. You got your we got your welding jar and your mox opal and your and your glimmy voids. Look at you go. How do I chat with you in game? You use this. <laughs> Come on. Hey, get your little life together, Michael. Oh, this is my little sorcerer's spyglass. I'm going to prevent you from casting. I'm going to prevent you from activating the spells in your little hand. Why do I have Particle Man stuck in my head? How do I? How, what did you name Misty Rainforest? What a scumbag! I don't even. I don't even have Misty Rainforest in the deck. You idiot. <laughs> this deck does need Misty Rainforest though. Real talk. I actually forgot that. I was thinking of all the lands. I'm like, wait, how do how do most modern decks get away with playing so few lands? Uh, Mini Nod, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, really. Oh, the regular sub, really appreciate it. Although, uh, I'm pretty sure that was... Yeah, right, that's fine. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's playing. Mike always plays really weird brews, which is super cool. That's why we connect. That's why we became friends. Particle man, I'll choose myself. Let me search my library for a little, a little breeding pool, a little bee pool, if you will. No, I'm not going to pay two life for a land that's coming to play tap. Don't be stupid. What a dumb. My credit card got stolen a couple months ago. That's why it looks like a recent sub. But it's I knew it was a resub. Gah, I knew it. I was like, I always sometimes I say it without reading. So I'm like, oh, thanks for the resub. And then I'm like, oh, that's just a regular sub. That was a new sub, huh? Interesting. Are you the tectonic edge of my land? Why do you why are you the way that you are? I have no idea what you're playing other than I'll lose. Well that's not what I'm playing. What a what a dirtle. Look at this. They don't have a forest, but I'm still going to attack. He has two cards in his hand. We don't know what Frank's playing either. All right. Long shot, but I don't suppose there are any Julio Cort Cortazar scholars. I don't even, I don't actually know who that is. So the answer would be no. Mind Snap Thrall, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Haji Gulashi with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate. You are the hero we need. You're gonna, you're gonna kill my land? Really? Really? Huh. So you have one, two... So you only have two mana sources here, so if you don't have another land, I guess I should have activated the breeding pool to do that, but. Nice. I really want to keep my double my double blue, double bluesels. 
<laughs> Less I. Yeah, sorry, brah. You tried to literally, you're literally trying to destroy all my lands. Come on. Don't lissai me. God, Mystic Snake's going to do some work, guys. Are you ready? We're going to be snaking. We're going to get snaky. You don't want to get snaky? Hmm. I guess we're just going to play this, right? One, two, three, four. Oh, I'll activate a thing instead. You got a counterspell? Are you going to War of Invention here? Oh my god, why do you play these decks? You play like the least fun decks ever. I don't understand it. Are you playing like Lantern? Are you going to get Ensnaring Bridge? <sighs> What's fun about playing these decks? I don't understand it. All right. Guess you got me. I don't think we have an answer for this in the main deck, do we? I guess we have another Cyclonic Rift. Chalice on two. I mean, if Cyclonic Rifters are out, I really don't want them to... But then, like, they just recast it, so it's kind of hard to, like... Oh, this deck is 100% worse than Tron. Why Wood Elves over Flip Nissa? Because Flip Nissa does nothing. Why this deck over over any deck that lets other people interact and have fun? <laughs> oh god. Wow. All right, so I think Rift can actually stay. Um, we're definitely bringing in Mockeries over Wretched Griffs. Creeping Corrosion seems insane. Negates and Nature's Claim all seem insane. I feel like we're actually pretty good post sideboard. Actually, I'll add two beasts over one over and two negates. I think that's fine. I will play first. I will mulligan this hand. I will mulligan this hand. Wow, I felt really good about our sideboarding as well. Sure, I'll keep this one land hand. And, uh...
I mean, I'd rather have a negate to counter a bridge or a way to just destroy a bridge. Let's go green, this guy. Let's say blue here because we're going to actually get a green with the wood elves. I'm trying to grind points to play in competitive leagues. Grind points? Oh, like play points? Sure. You can play your Mox Opal with zero artifacts. I'll accept that. So, green. Wood elves. Let's get a breeding pool. I'm going to say no. Play a breeding pool. Say no again. And we'll just pass here. Water Sports Drew, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Chalice on two, huh? Eh, ain't nobody got time for that. The problem is if we Elder Deep Fiend and they just go War of Invention in response, right? Because they have three blue. One, two, three, four, five. They have literally six mana. They have exactly enough to War of Invention. Whatever. I'm going to do it anyway. I like to live dangerously. Never don't have it. Oh boy, good times. So one, so actually we can't even, we can't even overload this, right? Cause it gets countered. Are we casting it for seven? Is the converted mana cost change? I actually don't know how that works. I don't want to get it. I don't I'm just want to get blown out here. Cool. I mean, the thing is, we have a ton of answers in our deck. Oh, well, all right. That's that's cool. I didn't know these planeswalkers were even available on Magic Online. I don't even know how you get these. Oh, 
Are we paying the respects to the tooth or the double crispy chicken wings? I feel like we shouldn't pay respects to the chicken wings because they're just fine. What is this ancient stirrings art? This is gas. I have no idea what this is, but wow, that's amazing. Have you guys seen this? <laughs> Slow clap into your, into your spell skite. Oh, I'm gonna counter my own spell skite. What is this? I've never even seen this art, dude. Any chance we can get a, uh, like a creeping corrosion or something? I need to just pop this guy out and be like, oh, return to the game. Let's go. Where's the, where's the pop out button? Show preview pane. Let's do one of them big jobbies that we like to do. Look at that. I don't understand it though. Is this Cat and Eldrazi? This is number 0000 of 1158. That makes sense. It's a totally normal naming convention. Numbering convention. Naming and numbering convention. Oh, so the boy really has to come to the tentacle overloads. Good for you. The tentacles are pleased. Yeah, I guess we played Eldrazi like three times this week, haven't we? And now we can finally meet again for the first time in the sweet, sweet embrace of the tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> Your introductions are appreciated every time, buddy. Every time. We have one welding jar. Let me get one creeping corrosion. Just one. Come on. I only have one in the deck, but I really I really want it right now. You got it. All your things are gone. Okay, forest is good too. A forest is also good. Yeah, I assume it's less than a dollar. Yeah, 11 cents. I didn't think it was a matter of, like, being an expensive card. I just don't know where it came from. It can't be real, right? That's crazy. Like, there's, there's these promos on Magic Online. And I don't know where they come from. Cool. All right, let's let's play against a real deck that's actually fun and interactive, and I get to do things. Um, I don't like this Quicksilver Fountain. I think it's kind of silly. I don't actually even know what it's here for. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I do kind of like Acidic Slime though. Oh, let's use this Promo Acidic Slime. I kind of like Acidic Slime in the main deck even. Maybe we're one one of these guys. We can add one Acidic Slime. I kind of like that. You are not. Yeah, you're something all right. Um, we have a lot of like artifact and chair removal, but I mean, like, I feel like that's kind of one of the things that stops us, I guess. Do you still need the cyclonic roof when we added two to the main deck? I don't think so. We can probably add like one more creeping corrosion because it's pretty good. Fountain could be a blood moon, but it could be like a super, super slud, slow. I avoided you at all, all on track. Yeah, but you literally said don't jump in the queue. Like, I mean, when you say that, you're kind of taunting me, right? You're kind of saying like, hey, buddy, I'm in the queue. Don't jump in. I mean, like, I wouldn't have jumped in if you didn't say anything. So it kind of felt like you were just joking around and trying to get me to jump in. So, um, Tormod's Crypt. I feel like we want some amount of ghost quarters, even though like we do want to maximize number of forests. I just expect you to play fun decks and not miserable decks. So like when I get into queue with you and you're playing a miserable deck, I'm always like, wow, why would you play this? I had so much more respect for you than to play Lantern. To play like, what? Uh, not Lantern, but like ensnaring, whatever that deck is called. I don't even know what it's called. It's, it's like Lantern, but without Lanterns. 
anyway, that's not the point, guys. You guys can play whatever you like. Don't don't let anybody shame you. And we're dropping some frames here, but I think we're climbing back up. Okay, we did it. We did it. I played the... How'd you do at GB Portland? How'd you do there? 5 two, one. Does that is that day two or no? I don't think so, right? That's it's six it's a six three still for cutoff. That's eight rounds. So it's be f six two. Six two is day is day two. That's that's obnoxious. Six wait, five, six, seven. Oh, did you just oh you did you just drop when you were five two one? No, that does make sense though, because you could have won the last round. How can you go five two one but not six three? Or not six two one? explain um all right so i think the main deck is good i think we just want to add some sideboard cards i don't know what we're actually what are we afraid of here i put like kitchen finks in the sideboard we could have spreading seas we could also just put like ghost quarters in the sideboard to add to bring in What's like, what are green answers for Tron? Okay, 6-2 is day two and you went 5-2-1. Five, five, yeah, okay, that's rough. That's rough. That is what's known as a no bueno. Blowing up the lands. How do we blow up the lands in green, though, other than, like, Acidic Slime? We already have another Acidic Slime. We have Beast Within that kills land. I think I want Surgical in the sideboard. I'm going to keep saying it, but Surgical in the sideboard instead of Tormod Script is probably better. Um, especially because you can Beast Within their land or Acidic Slime their land and then just still, still crush them. I was grinding out my play points. Whatever, you nerd. Also, I like that, like, if they play Ugin, it doesn't actually kill our Deep Fiends or our Wretched Griffs. That's kind of nice. We also have Mystic Snakes. I guess we can add, like, a third Mystic Snake to the sideboard. Can we do that? And what else? One, We need one more card here. I think we should add another Acidic Slime, because Acidic Slime actually is probably pretty good against Tron here. All right, let's try it like this. Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor is a dude. That is a dude. Mm. Damping Sphere. That's correct. That's why we should put him. I always forget Damping Sphere. My problem with Damping Sphere is that they usually have an answer for it. They usually board in Nature's Claim against, against well, against Dex. Shark to crab, do 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 do. Shark to crab. Yeah, that's actually. Uh, I think that's one of the better ones. It just has such a natural flow to it. It's very good. taking hydro eye support for dry eyes that I'm supposed to take for like a month after LASIK so oh, good times 
Anybody want to play some modern? What's the holdup? Anybody but Mike. Anybody but McGimp. Gonna wait till someone shows up and tries to battle us. Pills for your eyes that you put in your mouth. Yeah, I totally thought that too. I was like, wait, but this is like a caplet. How does it help my dry eyes? I was like, that was, I thought that same thing, dude. I was like, how does taking this help dry out? I was like, what? How does it do that? I don't know, man. It could be a scam. I'll keep this hand. This hand is great. Give me a payoff card. We really just want a payoff card here. I'll name Blue. Blah, 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 blue. Fascinating. Oh, that's a payoff card. We're doing it. We are doing it. What are you doing? It. It. What is it? That's from uh, Faith No More. All you do is you drive the pills right into your irises and you're good. What could go wrong? Back at it again with the spicy decks. What's going on, Frank and the Barbobbly Boost? <laughs> A name which I will never not laugh at. I thought Mike Patton was on stream. Yeah, it's actually uh, I, I I I front a Mike Patton cover band where we got a we got Mr. Bungle, we got we got some Faith No More. the other one tomahawk does he do a man called tomahawk you like this mike Patton trivia that i'm i'm laying i'm laying down for you you want it all but you can't grab it well now i know you're playing blood moon like a wait hold on this is a green right one okay so surely surely Phantomus, yeah. Mike Patton has a bunch of bands, man. Oh, wow. Are you going to kill my Arbor Elf because you're a, a literal monster? No, that would, you would never do that. That makes no sense. We could have played Wretched Griff last turn if we actually used our mana better because we actually forgot. This is this is going to give us a blue and a red. This is why. This is also why we put it on a forest because if, it, if we put it on like a breeding pool and they play with something like Blood Moon, it falls off. Cool. That's. Uh, we don't have the mana for that guy, unfortunately. One, two. Oh, we can actually untap this and get Venser mana. That's pretty cool. I guess we're gonna attack first. But 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 first. Mike Patton runs out of bands to be in. Oh man, I was the Hard Times kills it recently. That's hilarious, dude. Prolific frontman Mike Patton announced today he's quitting music, citing the simple fact he has run out of bands to be. In. <laughs> oh, the fact that I named like three and you could still name more was actually pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. All right, let's play Wretch Griff. What's going to be our... It's actually okay. I'm going to play this guy, sure. Play a Misty. Oh, 
Wow, you're just gonna kill my griff? What's it like being this rude? Do you think this person woke up and was like, I'm gonna be this rude today? I want to keep this Arbor Elf up because it lets us get double blue for Venser, so. Name a card you think would be fun and modern, I'll brew a deck with it. Wow. Get a load of the hero we need over here. Alright, hold on. We actually have to cancel this. We are going to go pawn tap you. Give me something good. You know what? That's actually not the worst. I guess we'll just keep getting forests. Phyrexian Obliterator, that's a good one. That's a good one. Anger of the Gods is less of a good one. Uh, one, two, three. It's in your head, but you can't grab it. What is it? No, it's in my head. I blame all of you. Faithless looting. Oh, and you got the extra mana for it? What a time to be alive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have eleven lands in play out of twenty-two lands in our deck. Well, isn't that something special? Jaya's servant? What does that even mean? I mean, Tireless Tracker could definitely find a place in the deck. The, the, the problem is, I feel like we're Day of Judgment just to get rid of Yav my Dryad, huh? Well, we know how double. I'm just gonna. Uh, it's awkward because we have a lot of good draws still. If we hit an island, this Mystic Snake is online, but their Chandra is actually pretty scary here. Oh, I, I see. It was two cards in one. I thought it was like a card I. I, I it's always a card I missed. Okay, now we have something of a game plan here. We are not what we are not what's known as dead. Oh god, play some of the nice. Yeah, that's never. Oh, Mystic Snakeery. Goodbye. Do you have a lightning bolt? A lightning helix. I see. I see. I can just hard cast this idiot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Draw a card. Sanctum of Ugin. More like Blanktum of Ugin, am I right? Because <laughs> it's because it's blank. It doesn't have a doesn't have it's a mountain doesn't have text but blanked him of Ugin. I'll be here all week guys tip your wait waiters and waitresses on the way out it's in your head but you can't Oh, you're just going to ultimate next turn, and we're going to have they have no recourse for that, huh? Okay. What if I tap their Planeswalker? Is that a thing I can do? All right. Well, here's what's going to happen. Let me, let me break it down for you guys. We can take out the life gain, gentlemen. One Blankton Buck. <laughs> That's all we need. That's all we need. We're going to bring in Acidic Slimies. I'm going bring in this one Mockery of Nature. We're going to bring in the other Mystic Snake. Take out the Rifts. Bring in the negates. Uh, I 
kind of like Beast Within. It just kills all their stupid things, but I actually like this. Oh, we think I want Elder Deep Fiend because we brought in bring another Mockery of Nature. Just being able to kill something like a Blood Moon is pretty important, I think. Also, this is a cast trigger. So is this, though, right? Dang it. Brewing around Vents of the Sojourner seems pretty sweet. I think we're fine like this. Maybe I do want... Maybe we want... Oh, actually, there's one more negate. Uh, I could have brought another negate in. I hope I brought two in. I think I brought two in, right? I don't know how negates work. Yes. Keep this hand forever. So we can actually go turn one Arbor Elf, turn two Utopia Sprawl, untap it. Let me make sure this works. We go land Arbor Elf, then we go other land, tap the land, put a thing on the Ar on the Utopia Sprawl, tap it for two, untap it, tap it for two. Yeah, so we can play Arbor Elf first. Also, I like the Misty Rainforest because we can go get a, a basic island for things like Blood Moon. So that's super nice to have. Um, let's play another forest. Put a sprawl on this forest. Add a blue. Tap it. Untap it. Tap it again. Play this lady. Give it to me. Hit OK. Say yes. Play a breeding pool. No. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana next turn. So all we want is a Frost Titan or some sort of Eldrazi here. I think we're good. Brago and Edric are two many cards I want that I, from Conspiracy that I want. I wish were modern. Uh, Baleful Strix and Council's Judgment are two of the cards that I want from Conspiracy in modern. I mean, we're definitely walking into uh, to a, an, an anger of the gods here. But the problem is, like, we, a we don't care about these guys a tremendous amount, and b like we're not going to not play this because of anger of the gods. So anger of the gods, there you go. You got all my four power, and now we're going to draw. Oh, acidic slime. Let's play that. I'm actually going to get rid of their planes here, uh, because if they have Blood Moon, I want to get rid of their basic their basic white sources. <sighs> Let's do one of these jobbies. Can we go to game three now? Would you like it to go to game three now? I'll play a land and kill it with my path to exile. All right, that seems good. Look at this, just, just hard casting Eldrazi idiots. This is amazing. Just cast, draw something good. Oh, that's actually great because now we can get an island. Let's get an island right now. I don't want to forget and I want to be able to F6, so. Also, if you guys need a wardrobe upgrade, up, upgrade, a wardrobe upgrade, check out meundies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, they're super comfortable. Actually, I'm wearing some right now. They're actually extremely comfortable. They're incredibly soft. And they're made from uh, micromodal fabrics that are out of this world. Are you going to exile this guy? Sure. MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte for all your undie needs. Oh, a, a Gijinjura. Gijin of the Trials. 
If I could draw non-lands, I'd be thrilled about it. I'm actually tempted to bounce this guy. But, you know. Why didn't I attack there? Totally forgot. No big deal. Could have put Gidgeon to three. Then I went back into four, and then we hit it again. It wouldn't have killed it, but it, you know, it's a good start. So the thing is, like, just playing Gideon here is actually... Eh, it's not even worth it, really. Well, dang it. This, I feel like we, get, we draw an abundance of lands here. This deck definitely wants Hydroid Crassus. Like, at least... Like, this deck actually is a Hydroid Crassus deck for sure. Like, cause we just, we just end up with so much mana that like if we just hit a Hydroid Crassus, it'd be insane, right? Like, let's just put two Hydroid Crassuses in the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We could Hydroid Crassus for ten here and draw five. Wow. They also have five cards in hand, but they're not doing anything. So I have, I have a feeling their hand is some mix of uh, Nahiri, like some, some mix of four mana Planeswalkers and Day of Judgment effects. The problem is what we cut for it. Probably something like Cyclonic Rift, I imagine. This is where they go. Finally hit their fourth land. Insta Day of Judgment. And our one point really affects us here. Yeah. What a time to be alive. Not your opponent because they're basically dead. They're not, though. They're definitely not. Although, appreciate it, Ancient Story. Thank you for bringing us to 50322. A very random, a, a random number, but that's okay. And I'm definitely cracking this because I want to minimize the option of uh, drawing lands, even though we likely still... Oh, okay. Okay, how much mana is this? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? <laughs> Yikes. Will Destroy Completion have a place on this deck? No, not really, because you're not playing anything on their turn. What would you... What would you untap on their turn? You know what I mean? Or, like, you untap, and then what do you play on their turn? Like, there's no, there's no instance in the deck, even. Right? Like, outside of Cyclonic Rift, like, everything is Sorcery Speed. Like, these are the only six cards in the deck that you... Oh, cause, because of... Uh, just because of Elder Deep Fiend? No, not really. That's not really good enough, I don't think. No, because you're playing one card that does absolutely nothing most of the time just to play another card on their turn. I see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's pretty nice, actually. Uh, let's go after Nahiri to keep you honest. You got it. Discard a card. I think a Singleton Ulamog is also actually not out of the realm of possibility because you do have a uh, Sanctum of, of Snoogans. Hmm. 
Yep. Well, that's pretty good. Holy smokes. So we're just they're just basically trying to dodge. Uh, we're going to put Nahiri to attack all with Nahiri. Or two Nahiri. You know what I'm saying. We're really trying to dodge Day of Judgment here. I think we're actually okay if we dodge Day of Judgment. But if we don't dodge Day of Judgment, it's really awkward. And by Day of Judgment, I mean Wrath of God, obviously. Yeah, that's actually fine. You kill a Griff. Oh. Oh, you're just going to play that into Day of Judgment. I got you. Yeah. Also, Day of Judgment is obviously the worst choice because you could just play Wrath of God, which prevents regeneration, which is strictly better. Yep. Oh, man. Well, they only have three Planeswalkers, so that's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, three. We have fourteen mana. God, I, I, Hydroid Crassus for six here would be utterly insane. We're definitely putting in Crassuses, Crassuses. I'm gonna actually trade for them right now. Huh. Guess we're taking nine. Perfect, perfect way to end. Just drawing another land. Ax actual perfect. Okay, so. Borrow. I started my last donation when they were still stuck on two lands. Didn't work so well. Rip us. <laughs> Appreciate it. I accept. All right, what do we got here? 31 tickets for Hydroid Crassus. What a time to be alive. I will submit. Oh, all right. An error occurred. I wonder if the error is me borrowing cards that are so hot. Okay, we did it. Thanks, my dude. All right, so let's go to collection. There's only 22 lands in the deck, which is kind of surprising because we draw a lot of lands. Let's add Crassus. I might want to take out one Wretched Griff because Hydrid Crassus just seems better, to be honest. We can probably take out one Yavimaya Dryad. Or one Wood Elf. Three and three seems fine. Is Mystic Snake just better than Venser? I think Mystic Snake is just better than Venser, right? Wait, what? Why are we... No, move these over here. Come on. One, two three take out one this is 60 so what do we take out we want to we take out one griffin one of these three drops i mean frilled mystic might be better i like being able to I, I think the casting cost is better on i think the casting cost on mystic snake is better but i don't know 
We have two Cyclonic Rifts in the main deck. Oh, I could see taking one Cyclonic Rift out and then just actually put just Mystic Snake number two in. And then just leave the other Wretched Griff. Because I like maximizing our threats. Uh, the threats are the things I want more of. Also, I do like negate. I should have brought I should have brought three negates in last time. Fencer can recast recast Crassus, but I don't I don't I don't think that's going to be a super big concern of ours. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go to play lobby and not let's not play a standard match because I don't think that's going to work out for us. I'll keep it. I think we're finding the flaw of Yavimaya Dryad here. Single green. This is also why Mystic Snake is better than uh, uh, than Freld Mystic because we do have we do have. So if you have like Breeding Pool, the Yavimaya Coast, Island, Mystic Snake, Sanctum of Ugin, right? Like it's it's easier. Like I don't want to get in a situation where Freld Mystic for the one power is actually um, a hindrance. Uh, that's actually pretty good then. All right, so we can actually play this, get a breeding pool, and then play Yavimaya Dryad into the rest of our deck. I agree. I keep forgetting Jace, um, but then this deck is really becoming like a. All right, so I'm gonna add two Jaces, and we'll figure out what to cut after. Yep, that's a thing. Breeding P. Seems good. One, two, three. Dryad. I'll choose myself. Get another breeding pool. All the breeding pools in the world. I don't think this deck does care about Jace, but Jace is pretty good. I don't know. I think all blue decks kind of care about Jace in a roundabout way. All right. So you are going to draw a bird. B O P. It's your boy. So we can actually just keep up Mystic Snake here. Or we can actually Acidic Slime one of their lands, but I don't love that. They have double Windswept Heath, so this is going to be like a 5-5. Five, five. Acidic Slime actually does deal with this, which is kind of nice. So they're going to draw Nissa. Well, I, we don't know what they're going to draw. Nissa is what they have on top, which is not the same as them drawing Nissa. So we're probably just going to kill their Courser instead. And we can get in there with this. I think it's fine. Man, Acidic Slime just being able to destroy your creature is eh, pretty OP. So you didn't crack, so you did draw Nyssa. That's good to know. So I assume you're going to play Nyssa for two, and then you're going to scry... I also don't feel like they're in a great position to attack here because of the aforementioned acidic slime. Wow, that's rude. Noble on top. Noble no more. Noble no more. Path on top. Okay. <clears throat> so, Noble Hierarch. So we can go one, two, three... It comes into play tapped. All right, so we definitely want four Wood Elves. 
Yeah, that's that's definitely... We definitely want it untapped. If we could play it untapped here, then we can actually keep up Mystic Snake, which is pretty huge. One, two, three. One, two, three. Tapped. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Hold on one second. I also don't know what to do here. <clears throat> uh, I think we're probably just going to keep up. I don't feel like it's like knowing they have path on top. I don't feel like playing Frost Titan is is a good idea here. Spell Queller, fascinating. Yeah, this is this is definitely counterable. If you have a spell queller in hand, you're gonna get a land and then pull then spell queller my mystic snake. That's fascinating. Yep. <sighs> Something, something. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We can cross this for four. Draw two. It's not terrible. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, let's get another island here. Four, six? Sure, I'll just take four. That's not a big deal. All right, so we know you're drawing of this path. Mystic Snake, huh? Okay, so we can actually play one, keep up Mystic Snake. Attack Nissa. That ain't terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could also just go Dryad number two. Get the last breeding pool. And let's go after Nyssa. <coughs> and then we get to give it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So next turn we can cross this for six, draw three, gain three. And then we have a six, six flyer. Ideally, they will use their path before then that they're drawing right now. Draw your, is that two paths you have? Path, path, okay. Well then.
Yep, we're just going to chump block here because, well, maybe not. Is it 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? Yeah, maybe. I just want I just want a use for this Mystic Snake. Hmm. Come on, can we Mystic Snake? Yeah, give me something. Thank goodness. So we're pretty sure their path, their hand is like path, path. Oh, that's 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 fascinating. Ooh, that's fascinating. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, four. You're one mana shy of being able to like cast Frost Titan and keep up Elder Deep Fiend. <clears throat> okay. Sure. And we get to eat him. Oh man, and we get to eat, eat that. Dang. So this costs four. Also, we get the Sanctum of Ugin. Hmm, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We only have nine mana, though. We'd go down to eight. So, like, this is a situation where we don't want Ulamog because, like, Ulamog's just too expensive. It's a creature, right? You may search on there for a few days. Colors creature card. Yeah, okay. So, if we can get, like, an Ugin, that'd be cool. But I don't think it's necessary. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we just keep waiting till to Hydroid Crasses here. Because if they use the other path. Uh, what can we tap down? We can tap down this and the knight. Or we can tap down this and... So they have four mana total. We know they have a path and a... Huh. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually just hard cast this. We don't actually have to delve anything. Delve, I said. <clears throat> I'm also tempted to not crack this, but I think we're fine cracking it. Uh, let's get rid of one, two, three, four. It's collected company. I don't know. I don't know, actually know what this deck is doing. Well, that's all this is fine. I don't even know what's going on right now. Four, five, six. We still have eight mana, so we can actually still grass this for six next turn. They have. Yep, that's actually what we're expecting them to do. Which is nice because wow, another path. Oh my god, what did they just draw? Do we know what we did? What, what was on top? Do we know what was on top? Courser. Wow, that's unbelievable. This is like all four paths, right? They've used two. We know they have one more in hand, and they're gonna draw the other one. Cool. So the other hand is Courser path right now. That's something. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's rounded. So it would be seven rounded down. So we draw three cards. But 
But then they just path it immediately, and we have nothing to show for it. So we're going to 11. We have this guy. They can path this guy, too. We almost have to play Frost Titan here. Just to tap this guy down forever. Bird. <coughs> yeah, Corsair of Crufix is pretty brutal here. I mean, we, we we killed the first one with our one of acidic slime, but we just haven't had an answer for the next one, so. There's Retreat to Coral Helm. <clears throat> so now we have the 10 mana that we need to actually get a million Crassus, right? Extra card, extra life. Of course, again, they do have, they still have one more path in hand, so. <clears throat> one, two, three. Wow, not a single land among them. That is fascinating. Maybe we were wrong about the third path. I don't think we were. I'm pretty sure... Actually, all four paths are in their graveyard. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to kill us, though. <clears throat> they could also just Nissa and negative six here, which is pretty stupid. This is four, eight, ten lands, so we can actually... I don't know. Something's something's going down here. I'm not even going to like try to keep up. If they kill us, they kill us. Yep, tap a dude. <clears throat> and then you like crack this. And tap another dude. Yep. All right. So that's game. I don't know. This deck feels super sweet, but I feel like we are missing something, and I can't really put my finger on it. Um, definitely like acidic slime here. It kills retreat, and it kills the other thing. Also kills their land. This guy might be better than Wretched Griff here, but I, I nah, meh. Don't care about Cyclonic Rift. Yeah, Thractus actually seems good here. Keep this hand. Turn two Wood Elf into turn three Mystic Snake or any of these things. This hand is actually probably what we want to be doing. The problem is Land of Wars get killed a lot easier than Utopia Sprawl does. I don't think Utopia Sprawl is any sort of issue. Plus, you really want to be emerging creatures that cost more than one because emerging this with one is still cost six. And it still costs five. So you really want to get like that three mana discount off of something like a wood elf. All right, well, next time we get to keep up Mystic Snake and uh, Elder Deep Fiend and Wretched Griffs. It's not bad.
Also, the nice thing about wood elves is that like no one ever cares to kill it. Like you kill the you kill the land of war elves because they're rampers, but this guy's already the damage is done. So you're just like, eh, now it's just one one. Now I'm just tempted to keep up mono mystic snakes because we have mono mystic snakes. And mystic snakes are great at emerging as well, which is why we put them in here. Forgot how much work I'm doing in the class of Saturday campaign complete attention. No worries, buddy. No worries, buddy. I think our curve is great. We can cast everything right now. I don't think we've ever had curve problems. <clears throat> well, that's obnoxious. Now I don't want to play any more lands. So, this is also another reason why. What, what is it? What, what's it's like? This is like the second matchup that people have tectonic edge against us. Don't actually want to play that. I mean, they have to play something, right? We could have actually played Elder Deep Fiend last turn, which would have been nice. Oh, this is going to be nice. Uh, blue. See, this is why we don't... Frilled Mystic, we'd have to take a point here. And that ain't that ain't where I want to be. Uh, one, two, three. We get this guy. <clears throat> this is actually interesting. You guys ready for this? This seems pretty cool. Let's go land. Blue, green. This guy. Get a breeding pool. Untapped. Upkeep. Cast with Emerge. Uh, sacrifice this guy, pay blue, blue, green, one, two, three, four, get rid of all your things, even if you kill this it's fine, I don't really care. I heard you have mono, feel better, but what does that even mean? Sure, you got it. <clears throat> They're at 11. We have one more Mystic Snake, so we might as well just keep it up. <clears throat> keep it up, Mystic Snake. Keep it up. Oh, no, sir. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm just going to draw Mono Mystic Snakes here. So, this costs six. Can you emerge any number of creatures? Your sacrifice is eight creature. Dang, I'd be like, get rid of both these guys, play this, keep up Mystic Snake number dose. Yeah, we're just going to keep up Mystic Snake here. We have four power on board. They're at seven. Yeah, I go to six. I like it. <clears throat> I think they're dead, but, you know, maybe they're not. Disdainful Stroke is an interesting card to be bringing in. Tell me, Rude Snake Snake, can you keep it up? I like it. I like that. It's nice. It's a little rude snake meme. Well, there's no way he has three mystic snakes, right? When you drew four paths last game. There's no way. But he does. Do you believe it? What a maniac. And you're dead on board. Nah. I mean, if you have a path, you go to two. Nailed it. <clears throat> Seems good.
All right, so I think we did well there. Does this deck run Frilled Mystic? No, just the just the old timer. Just our old boy. Oh, now that I can see, I know it doesn't. Oh, you got an ope there. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> ope. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Your middle-aged white guy is showing. <clears throat> yeah, this hand's pretty slow. This hand is pretty slow. Black dog? I don't know what that means. I think you're just saying, I have four cards in hand. This guy. You can't disdainful stroke this. You're gonna spell queller this? What a maniac. That gives us nothing next turn. Spellcaller is actually pretty good here, but you don't actually have to... Oh, you, you did because you played this off this. Yeah, all right, sure. You got it, my dude. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we have no way to deal with, like, things, right? Like... Yep, I feel like that was a sizable tempo play. If we had a one drop here, I think we'd be in better shape. I, I'm surprised we didn't, actually. Isn't that the song you were just listening to? Black Dog? I don't even know what Black Dog is. Black Dog? I don't actually... Is that a... Maybe... I don't... Hmm. Black Dog song. Let me look that up. Oh, maybe I might... I probably know this after... It was. It was Black Dog. I feel stupid now. Okay, well, we're not doing great here. But we do get a Thrag Tusk if they don't have anything next turn. And that's just a cool thing to do. We're having a good time. I want Cryptic Command, and I want it now. I feel like this deck is just missing something. If we can actually, like, do things... Like, we just have to get going a little sooner, you know. It's 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 so it's so bad if you, if this deck misses like a way to ramp to three or five. Those are your key spots. It needs turn one and two plays. I agree with that. Wow. Yikes! That's a yikes from me, a doggy. If they have disdainful stroke here, it's just a blowout. All right. Well, it's not a blowout. If they have path here, it's just a blowout. I don't know if that's a blowout per se. I think I just over, I think I over exaggerated it being a blowout, <clears throat> but it's still pretty bad. I wish these knights weren't four fours. I wish they were three threes. Others are just turning this into a complete Simic themed deck. Coiling Oracle? Oh, I do like a Coiling Oracle. The problem is with 22 lands, it's mostly just going to draw you a card. Corsor Crew Fix is nice. Yeah, we're definitely blocking. I don't really feel like taking 10 here, and this beast is not going to do anything. It's going to let us cast this next turn, but we can do that anyway. Three, four, five, six. What are you doing? You're sure. Whatever, man. 
Whatever, bro. Nice. You're the hero we need. You're the hero we all need. But you're not the hero we, we, any of us deserve because you're basically history's greatest monster. God, tapped is the worst. Again, like, we can go three, get a tapped forest, crack this for an island, and play Elder Deep Fiend. And that would be very, very good. But instead, we're just going to play Frost Titan of Industry. I mean, this deck has definitely put up a fight, right? They have one card in their hand. He's got a mystery. He's got a mystery. I need a hero. Look at the top three cards. Oh, that's nice. That's cute. You got it. Oh boy. Oh boy. I will block and trade. Oh, it's eight eight. Ha <laughs> ha yeah, we're gonna we're done here. Yep, yep, all right. Well, this is a Yep. All right. So I don't know what this, I don't know what we really need here. This is, this deck is confusing, but I really like it. And I don't know what to make of it. Wretched Griff might be a little underpowered, but I'm not sure if there's better options. I would probably add like one more. These are very relevant. Maybe we do need all seven of them. I think this is fine. Like, I mean, this, this would be the configuration that I went with. I don't know if it's great. Like, I don't know if this deck is ready for uh, quote-unquote prime time. Maybe you want prime time instead of Frost Titan. Maybe you want, like, a 2-2 split. We definitely don't have enough creatures for Decimator of the Provinces. Don't just name Eldrazi because they're Eldrazi. I like 2-2 split. Primeal Titan's good because it makes sure that, like, if you cast this guy and you untap, your other cards are great. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to export it like this. I think this is where you want to be. I think this is probably going to be the most fun version of the deck. I, I think it was... Even when I was losing, I was still having a good time, which is a super sweet indication of a deck. And uh, if you guys want to have your decks critiqued, definitely check out my Twitch page or my uh, my Patreon page. You can find them both in the description below. You can also check me out on, uh, on, those, on those sites, Twitch and Patreon. If you want to support the channel, you can also slam those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the video. But thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Steve, thank you for the opportunity for playing this. Really appreciate it. Uh, still no Ulamog and Kozilak? No, because there were very few times where we had 10 or 11 mana or 12 mana or however much they cost. Um, I think there was probably one game where we actually had 10 mana. So it's just, despite the fact that like we are playing Eldrazi and we're ramping, um, I don't think that you're going to want... You're, like, you just don't get there, right? Like... Um, yeah, Steve, no worries about it all, man. Uh, thanks for playing. Sorry they didn't perform it. Don't even worry about it. That's not, that is not the point. I had a blast. I thought this deck was sweet. And I was actually surprised at how well the uh, Blue Black Rogues deck played. So if you guys haven't checked that one out, do check that one out. It went up the other day. But thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time.